All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, a little different angle because we got a lot going on here in this video. Not yet, but it's coming. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started. Now, guys, this is gonna be an absolutely fun video. This is my Jack Wolf Knives collection video. That is right. So Kevin left the EDC, did a video, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, maybe by the time you watched this three or four weeks ago, and challenged everybody to do the same. And I'm going to try to rank all 11. There are now 11 Jack Wolf knives. I'm going to, and, and look at all these slips, guys. <laughs> There's slips everywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to try to rank all 11 knives. I'm going to set this box right there. And I'm going to try to rank all 11 knives. Now, I got to give you a cav caveat right up front. This is hard. Um, some of these that are going to be at the bottom are, I mean, all of these knives are excellent. They're so well done. I hate the fact that some of these are near the bottom. It's really, really terrible, to be honest with you, that some of these are at the bottom. Um, but I, what I did, my ranking criteria, guys, has to do with um, everything. The whole package, the handle material, the blade shape, the blade, you know, the, the style, everything. So this was really hard. I re-ranked these like 10 times. So let's shut up. And let's jump in. Let's angle that where you can see there. And let's jump into number 11. Um, and guys, this is really um, hard. I'm, I'm not kidding. I love this knife too. Um, this is uh, the laid back jack. This is the, um, wow, sway back uh, version. It is in black micarta, which is or is this the green? No, this is the black micarta. I had to look around the camera for a second because it sometimes messes with me. My only complaint on this knife is the fact that that blade sticks up and you can grab it. And it has cut me, uh, not cut me, nicked me a time or two. Um, other than that, this is a great knife. It feels good in the hand with that sway back coming up into your into your palm. You've got this. Oh, by the way, this is going to be a long video. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, you've got this uh, great, great. Uh, by the way, all all of these until closer to the end are um, M390 blades. And I'll tell you when we get to the S90V ones. Um, but again, black. And, and all of these knives are going to have the same uh, gray titanium uh, frame with the covers laid over the top. You do have a bolster with a single flute on this one and a Warncliffe blade, of course. So that is the laid back jack. So that will be, um, we'll, we'll start him down here, okay? So that's number 11. I don't know if we can fit 11 across here. I should have tried that. Now this one's really killing me, guys. As a matter of fact, I'm actually thinking about re-ranking before I show you this. <laughs> this is terrible, all right. Uh, e anyway, even though I just did what I just did, um, I, d I did re-rank. Uh, this is still terrible. I hate that the uh, this guy, which is absolutely fantastic, and this is also the black micarta. I thought this is the. I think this is the OD green micarta. Let me let me look at that again. Or is this the OD green? This is the green. The so this is. Uh, the Sharpshooter Jack. I love this knife. This is terrible. I hate this. Um, you got a clip point blade, and the ergos are great. Um, the, you know, they're still not my favorite ergos out of the rest of them. Uh, again, M390 blade, hollow grind. These are all hollow ground. Uh, fantastic, fantastic knives. Um, I hate to put this. It's just not one I reach for. Uh, by the way, the action on this one is absolutely snappy. Now I'm now I'm actually rethinking my ranking change because there is something. No, nah, no, nah, we're going to leave it just like I have it right now because that one would be higher were it not. Okay, all right. So that is number 10, the Sharpshooter Jack. All right, let's put it in the same orientation here and come over here. Now this is the Little Bro Jack. So you guys actually haven't gotten these yet. They're coming middle of 2023. Uh, the reason was uh, they came out and they had a little tiny bit of blade wrap 
Um, and it was right about in here. I showed it to Ben at Blade Show, and he immediately went to work talking to the manufacturer, pulling these back, and redoing the blades completely. On mine, all I did was go to, um, there was a sharpening service at Blade Show. They sharpened it, and since that one little tiny sharpening, I've not seen any more wrap on this guy. Uh, you can see it's a smaller one, and uh, the... Action on this one's a little more slug. I don't know. It's still very snappy. And then you've got this orange dark matter carbon fiber. Uh, my only complaint, my only complaint, my only comment on that is, and this is not a bin complaint. This is, oh, by the way, every one of these, this back spring is so smooth. There's no gaps. The finishing between the blade and that and the um, the spring is phenomenal. These are so good. Is that I wish there was a little more orange. That's all. Uh, again, not Ben's fault at all. It's the material. All right. So again, this guy would be ranked much higher. Um, but there's just so many good ones in front of it. This is so hard. Uh, so that's eleven, ten, nine. So this is number eight. This is the Benny's clip, and I love this knife because it's bigger. But I'll tell you, now that I'm carrying slip joints more often, the smaller ones are getting more pocket time. Um, and by the way, look at that Pacific Blue. Um, is this Camo Carbon? Or, no, this is the. This is not Pacific Blue. The, ah, now I remember. This is uh, the Fat Carbon Arctic Storm. That's what this one is. Gorgeous. And I love the way this fits in my hand, but I'm carrying these in the bottom of my pocket with usually one or two other knives latched onto my pockets with um, pocket clips. So I just, I don't carry this one as often because of it being bigger, which is weird, because I like bigger knives. I do love the different clip point blade, the more aggressive, and it's got a dip down here. It's a fantastic knife. The only complaint on this one is, again, this is probably the lighter of the, now not the pull, but on the closing, it's a little lighter. You can see then some of them and it might just be because it's bigger um so that is number eight so number seven and gosh guys i'm not kidding this is absolutely terrible um because this is so hard now this is the pacific blue uh camo carbon this is the uh awesome vampire jack and i guess maybe this one's a little lower because it cut the crap out of me no that was totally my fault that is not why it's lower this is a fantastic design. It's just lower because I have to make decisions of what I like better and what I don't. I love the swell in the handle. I like the ergos a lot. There's just some better ergos coming up. You know I love this spear point. Very aggressive. Got a very, very nice swedge up here. Again, M390. All of these so far, M390. This one is very snappy. Um, if I had to give this one a little ding... It's that it's a little harder for me to pinch. I can still do it. It's just a little harder for me to pinch. And you got to use the nail nick, which as Ben says, you know, why is that such a big deal? But it, it's not. So that is uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. All right. So number six. All right. And then we're, we're going to change it up a little bit here when we get in the top five, but not a lot. <sighs> I cannot believe this is number six. I absolutely, this is... This one means a lot because Ben is a friend, and this is Ben's like personal design. This is the Cyborg Jack, and I just love this. There's just ones I like better, um, and man, I see I'm looking over right now. I'm wanting to re-rank my top five because I hate that the next one is the next one. I wish it was higher, but again, I have to rank it on the total package. Black Micarta, again, this one has fantastic ergos. I don't think I have any nitpicks about the, the last five. Did you hear that? This is literally one of the strongest of mine. Look at that. Bam! Uh, it is fantastic, really sleek, uh, but very angular and cool. I love this one. Uh, really, really do. Yes, it's number six. All right. Number five, and we're going to start by doing this. And guys, I hate that this is number five. Uh, it should be higher, and it eventually will be higher. I guarantee it. Man, I'm just sitting here second-guessing myself again. Hold on. Time out. Time out. 
All right, we're going to see if I re -rank. This is so hard. Uh, am I going to re-rank? Am I going to re-rank? <sighs> I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it because it's a whole package thing. So, number five is the Javelina Jack. Uh, just came out, and I just love this um, Brittany Blue Camo Carbon. This is one of my favorites. The material brings it up. The sleekness, the beautiful contoured shape. Well, man, see, I'm second guessing again. I mean, the way the spring is done with that contour, and then when you open it up, again, a little harder to pinch on this one, but not a huge deal. Um, you have this melt-in-your-hand ergos, and plenty of thumb room, and now this one is S90. Uh, this should be higher, but whole package, the clip point is just not my favorite blade shape. So it comes down a little, man, did you hear that snappiness? So good. Listen, so good. Uh, I hate this. I hate ranking stuff like this because it just, it feels like I'm leaving something. I'm, I'm doing it wrong. So there we go. All right. This is unbelievable too, because up until recently, this was number one. And over the past couple of two or three drops, it's just gotten down a little bit. And so this is the Midnight Jack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to move these a little bit to have enough room. Uh, and the reason this one might be a little lower is a lot of the ones, the, the three that are left are all, and by the way, if you notice, we have a little run of fat carbon and camo carbon going on here. Um, and so I like the micarta and I especially love the natural versus the dark gray. Um, and I love this blade shape and I love, okay, see, I'm going to talk myself out of it again. I love the triple fluted, uh, Barlow bolster here with the coffin end. Um, and I love how this feels in my hand, but there are three coming up that just have better ergos for me. Um, and have really beautiful camo carbon or fat carbon. And, um, this one has great walk and talk as well. Uh, and I think, is this the only one with a triple fluted bolster? Yeah. So gotta love that, man. See, this is hard because I don't like it. I, I don't. All right. And this one is next. This is the canine jack. Uh, it's the K9 Jack. I'm going to slide these one more time. They're not lining up with the knives, but we got to have enough room. So uh, the K9 Jack is number three. And the K9 Jack is in this absolutely ridiculously beautiful twill carbon fiber. Ben knows me, and this is epic. Now, to me, this may be like one of the best ergonomically. And and the Havelina really might end up being the best ergonomically. And that's why I'm shocked that it's number five. But I re-ranked these like 10 times. Um, so again, back to M390 again. And by the way, this one was M390. Back to M390, got this, cam this uh, twill carbon fiber. And this is my favorite blade of all the blades he's done. This fat spear point... Uh, of all of them now, uh, rivaled by one coming up, but is very, well rival rivaled by number two and number one really. Uh, this is a gorgeous, ridiculous blade shape, um, and the ergos are just fantastic. So you guys knew this one had to be up there, and it is. All right, now this sucks, okay? Because I'm having a hard time with this, but I'm gonna go with what I've got laying here. That's right, low drag jack is uh, number two. Um, so there you go. And this is looking really pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. All right, so let's ruin the focus again. All right, so guys, I got to tell you, um, the spear point blade, the bullet shape, the very aerodynamic shape is what's doing it. But the 80s camo carbon that I didn't think I would like has pushed me over the top to number two on this one. That's, I, I almost swapped the Javelina up. I don't know. I just had a hard time doing it. Uh, but again, 
because of the swell back here. I've tra- talked about this a lot, guys. And the narrowness back here, it locks me into a grip. And I absolutely love it. But the whole package, the blade, the aerodynamics, the 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 theme of it looking very old aerodynamic, you know, like 60s, 50s, 60s airplanes, and then the contoured scales or you know what I mean, covers, and the 80s fat carbon really push it over. So do you guys know what it is? You guys ought to know what it is. If you know your Jack Wolf knives, you know what it is. And and you're probably going to be a little surprised, but you know I love a spear point blade, but you also know uh, what else I love. And um, so, so we had to do this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Venom Jack. And this is just the most pinchable... Uh, and then you have this uh, Tamascus uh, camo carbon that is ridiculous. Again, nice walk and talk snap. And I just love this blade. What a utility blade shape. Oh, by the way, this guy was an S90V. So our S90Vs are these two. And everything else is M390. So that's the Javelina and the um, low drag. Uh, so yeah, there it is. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, this is probably my favorite. Uh, the Brittany Blue is very close. I mean, just look at that. Beautiful. But the, for some reason, the colors just pop so much in this guy. Look at that. That is my favorite. Uh, so my three favorites as far as carbon fiber are this guy and the 80s camo carbon and the um britney blue so yeah but this is just again i didn't think it would be great ergonomically but it absolutely is it might be one of the best uh ergonomically because again you have that tilt down you have that nice gradual and you're locked in by the swell just fantastic um, so you know what? We'll lay that one right there because it's number one. Oh, number one. Although we got to get a we got to get a group picture here. So let's let's lay it out properly. There's your group picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And yes, that was absolutely terrible uh, because I love all of them. I really, really do. Uh, let me. Whoa, camera! Don't do that. Um, straighten these out just a little bit. There you go. Isn't that a cool picture? Uh, so really, really cool. Now we'll lay the, the Venom back out as the champion here. And uh, there you go, guys. So this is an 18-minute video, uh, which you're not used to seeing from me. So I will um, kindly apologize. And uh, no, this is, this is fun. So there are more of these um, collection videos coming. So, um, you know, if you have suggestions... Uh, I, I'm trying to find some new creative ways to highlight my collection. There will definitely be a Finch Knife collection video coming up uh, and some others. So uh, very, very cool. So thank you, Kevin, for the tag. And I will then turn this around and tag anybody and everybody out there with Jack Wolf knives. Even if you only have two or three or if you have all 11 or whatever you have, I would love to see your ranking on the Jack Wolf knives. Um, and Ben, you're just killing it, man. Look at this. These are the finest slip joints I have and the finest ones I've seen. Now, I haven't been involved in a bunch of custom slip joints or anything like that, but these are so well made. I mean, you've got all these different shapes of backspring, and it doesn't matter. They're all done so well. Different blade shapes, different weights, different lengths, and the bl and the, the backsprings are phenomenal. Everything is finished so well. Uh, the designs are great. The ergonomics are great. The, the cutting performance is ridiculous. These are ludicrous on the cutting performance side of things. They're just magnificent. So... Uh, there you go, guys. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I see what's happening. There we go. All right, so there is your top 11 Jack Wolf knives. And you know what? I'm going to keep talking for like 20 more seconds because I want to go over a 20-minute video for once because I don't do that. So let's just say if you're not subscribed to the channel, 
This is the Knives Fast channel. Check it out. We have a lot of fun. We do live streams every Monday night at uh, whatever time that is, uh, 7.45 p.m. Eastern. I'm joking. Uh, and join us, guys. We have a blast. Give it a give. A, uh, hit that subscription and that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And thank you so, so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.